Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll see how to use save all method to save multiple entities in the new database table. Well, save all method is basically from crude repository interface and save all method returns a list of iterable objects. Okay, so whenever you have a requirement to save multiple entities into a database, then you can go ahead and use save all method. All right, let's head over to the IntelliJ ID and let's write the logic to see how to use save all method to save multiple entities into the database table. Let me head over to the IntelliJ ID and let's quickly write the method over here wide and let's call it as save all method and let's annotate this method with add test annotation and let's head over to the mysql workbench and let's see how many records are there in a products table well let me request the schemas and you can able to see only one record we have in a products table let's go and let's insert multiple records in a products table using save all method well, let's go back to IntelliJ ID again and in a save method we have already written you know code here to create the product object so I'm going to simply copy this piece of code and I'm going to paste it here okay so let me quickly change the values let's say product 2 and this is product 2 description and let's say the stock keeping unit something like a b c d and let's change price from 100 to 200 okay and the image url product2.png okay and i will create a one more product record let me quickly copy this and paste it here and let's call it as product2 or let's call it as product3 and let's change the values product3 product3 description and this is 100 abcd let's call it as e and let's change the price from 200 to 300 and also the image url all right and also replace this object reference here product 3 all right now we have created two product objects let's go and let's use save all method to save these product objects let's go and let's call product repository and it has save all method well look at here save all method basically takes a list of iterable entities and it returns a list of type entity okay let's go and let's select save all method here and it expect list so go ahead and you know create the list and it has op method all right and let's go and let's pass the product object to this op method perfect well what we have done basically we have called save all method and we have passed a list of product objects to the save all method now let's go back to the mysql workbench and if you can see the products table contains only one record now let's go and let's run this jna test case and let's see how this save all method works and how hibernate will create a sql query for this save all method behind the scene well let me quickly run the JNA test case now and there we go test passed and let's see the output of the test case well look at here hibernate have generated a lot of SQL statements let's understand these SQL statements one by one well post this SQL statement is to select a value from the sequence table and this sql query to update a value in the sequence table okay so basically whenever we insert the record then hibernate will create these you know two sql statement to maintain a sequence as a primary key in the sequence table okay so this is for inserting a single record and next these two sql statement for inserting a second record okay because here you can see save all method basically insert two product objects right and here you can see there are total four sql statement for managing the you know sequence values in the sequence table okay so first one this is second and this is third and this is fourth 
and then later hibernate create you know insert queries to insert the records in the database table and here you can see save all method basically insert two product records right that's why you can able to see hibernate has generated two insert sql statement so this is one and this is second all right i hope you understood how save all method works well basically save all method internally uses hibernate to generate insert sql statement to insert a individual record into the database table now let's head over to the mysql workbench and let's see how these records are inserted in the products table well let me head over to the mysql workbench and let me select records from the products table and you can able to see product 2 and product 3 so these records are inserted in the products table well whenever you have a requirement to save multiple entities at the same time then you can go ahead and use save all method well save all method is basically you know it does a bulk insertion operations all right great i hope you understood how to use save all method to save multiple entities in the database table all right i will see you in the next lecture